friends welcome again and this is my new project car service center management system and uh, this project i have developed in the php and mysql and the version i am using is the php version 7 and the mysql version is 5.6 so currently i am running this project in the xamp server but if you have the web server then you can easily configure this project on the web server if you are using the linux machine then you can also configure this project on the linux environment and uh, if you are using the mac then this project is compatible with the mac also then for running the project in the mac you need the map server okay so the project title is car service system and uh, this project i have developed in java gsp and my uh, sorry php and mysql for front end i'm using the html css and javascript some of the jquery library for giving this some of the good effects and creating the validations and integration of the date plugins i'm using the jquery plugin right so let's start with the functionality so the project title is car service system and uh, this is a mini project not a major project with the admin functionality only it means admin can be able to do all of the things in this project there is no customer functionality there is no customer login inside this project that's why it's a mini project right so this is the home page of the project as you are seeing these are the home page of the project and if you want to change any of the images then you can change it directly replacing those images into the folder this is the about project so this is the about project and you can change this about section also this is the search bill so suppose if you have the bill id then if you want to detect a printout then you will enter the bill id header here and once you click on the search then you will be able to get the bill details here right and if if you enter any invalid bill then you will be able to get that uh, sorry invalid bill then you will be able to get that no bill found message right this is the login form from where admin will be able to log in if you have the proper credential then you will be able to log in if you don't have the proper credential then it will show you invalid user id and password this is the contact us section from where you will be entered the contact us information i am not saving this data anywhere in the database then you can see that this is a static form but it's only a form okay none of the database is available for this form okay so let's start with our admin login so this is the admin login once you click on the login then you will get the dashboard for the admin and the same uh, menu is available here also right you can see then you can either jump on the page from here or you can either jump from on the page from here also right so let's start and go through one by one functionality so again home i have already explained you about us this is a dashboard one more thing i want to explain you so the above menu is totally session driven right if you log out from the system then above menu will be changed if you log in inside the system the above menu will be changed so it's a session driven system menu right so this is the dashboard this is the administration and if you click on the add vehicle then you will be able to add the vehicles then in this and what you can enter the vehicle number owner name mobile email total kilometer last service date so i have added the date plugin here you can see Chichis number service cost and vehicle company so this all drop downs all of the drop downs which is available in the project is totally dynamic and the value of those drop downs are coming from the database okay and the service details <clears throat> this is the ad servicing so in this service form you will select the vehicle first and service date and service cost and the full details so that what the things you have added in that service you will be able to add it here this is the service entry form this is the ad bill so this is the ad bill form from where you will enter the uh, customer name and the mobile and after that you can generate the bills just like that if i am enter the Rahul Kumar and customer mobile number like that right and suppose if you have more items then you can add more items if you want to remove items then you can remove items here right so i am adding so, so service cost right and quantity is one the unit price is supposed 2000 rupees and total cost is 2000 rupees right then the total cost is calculating automatically right and the engine oil engine oil and the quantity is um, suppose six liter and the total unit, unit price is 200 rupees per liter suppose it's a 1200 rupees right and the engine oil and after that brake oil brake oil and the quantity is one and the cost of big file is 400 rupees and total cost is 400 rupees the total cost is 3600 rupees if you click on the save on print then you can do that if you want to add more item then you can add it from here suppose if i want to add uh brick repairing brick repairing right and one 
and the cost is 200 rupees and total cost is 200 rupees right then the total cost is 3800 rupees if you click on the save and print then you will be able to get the things right then uh, if you uh, also uh, this will be printed here also and the bill id is nine so if i search that bill id from the front end panel then it the same page will be displayed right so this is the add bill section and this is the vehicle report then what the vehicles you have added will be displayed here and if you want to click edit then you will be able to edit and update the vehicles from here also right then this one is a service report so the same uh, form is available but with the details then you can edit the details then the service form is opening and if you click on the details then you will be able to print the details and if you click on the print details then you will be able to uh, see the uh, printer details of that part right this is a bill report then all the bills uh, which you have generated will be displayed here so the last bill which i have generated is the rahul kumar and if you click on the view details then you will be able to see the details of that part right and then the bill id is nine and the my account section from where admin will be able to update his account and the change password and the logout section so this is all about the project car service and i am again searching on the bill number nine right so this is the bill number nine okay so this two pages is totally dynamic okay so this project uh, this is the full functionality of the project car service system and as i told you earlier that this is a mini project and it's not a major project but if you need more functionality in this project, just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes and i will make this project according to your needs okay and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest videos on the latest projects thanks for watching the video thank you very much